So if uh, let's first see if the server is running or not. So our server is running. And now if we go to our admin panel and press enter, you can see this Django administration panel opens up. This is because we have written admin.site.urls over here. So let's actually access this administration panel and see how it looks. So for that, we need to stop the server and we need to do something known as migrations. So what we are going to do is uh, we are just going to write migrate over here and press enter. And you can see there are going to be some migrations over here. Let's expand it a little bit. Let me just expand it. And you can see there is some admin stuff going on over here. So what is migrations? Migrations is basically uh, whenever we add something inside the database, we need to tell Django that, hey, we have added some stuff to our Django database and you need to make sure that these, these uh, changes are applied inside our Django project. So that is where migrations come in. So with migrate, what we do is we actually uh, process these changes inside our database and make sure they are added to our Django project. Now you must be saying that we have just created our Django project. We have not many, we have not even created a database. Uh, so how are these uh, migrations happening right now? Because we haven't done anything to our database. So what Django does is whenever you create a Django project, it automatically creates some kind of databases for you. So for example, this admin database, which we are going to be looking in just a second. Uh, so yeah, you need to make sure that Django knows that these changes are inside Django and uh, you basically ask it to implement it inside the project. So now to access this Django administration panel, what you need to do is you need to provide a username and password. So do that, we can just write create super user and press enter and it's going to ask you for your username and password. Username, I'm just going to put as admin, email address, I'm going to let it be blank. And the password, I'm just going to call it um, hello world at the rate. Uh, all right, let's try it again. Hello world at the rate press enter and super user has been created successfully. So let's log in admin and then hello world at the rate press enter. So now we'll be okay. The server is not running. So we need to make sure that the server is running again. Let's turn the server and uh, all right, our server is running. We can go back over here, press enter. And now we need to write this again. Hello world. I hope I haven't messed up the username and the password. Okay, it's open up and this is our Django administration panel. So what is this Django administration panel? Whenever you make any kind of changes to our database, you can do it through this GUI, GUI functionality. So as you can see, there is this users table that has been created for us. And that is why we needed to do some migrations because this is a table that has been automatically created by Django and we needed to make sure that Django knows that we need to implement this uh, database functionality inside our uh, inside a project and that is why we did migrations without even though we didn't do any kind of changes inside a database. So this is our Django administration panel and we are going to be doing a lot more stuff to it but for right now just know that it exists for your purposes.